What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get into FPV for under 100 bucks. I wasn't sure if I wanted to get into FPV um, and I wasn't sure if it was going to make me dizzy looking in the goggles and everything. So here are just a couple of parts you can get, make it under 100 bucks and see if you'll even like it. So I'm going to quickly go over some of the parts we got here. Um, this right here is a small uh, micro drone I got off Amazon for like $39. And then this right here is a small FPV camera. We'll be opening that up in a minute. And then these goggles, um, I think these ones are a bit more expensive. Um, but if you want to do it for under 100 bucks, there are some really cheap goggles on Amazon. Uh, these are up there with the really cheap ones. Um, I just happen to have these from my um, Tiny Hawk 2 Freestyle Ready to Fly kit. So we're going to go ahead and unbox the drone and the FPV camera. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, so we got the manual propellers and the battery charger. And then here's the drone. And as you can see, let's just take it out of here quick. This thing is tiny. If you see in this in my hand here, this is like a little micro drone, um, but it should work for what we're doing. And then we have three small batteries here. And then of course, at the bottom here, we have the remote. And obviously this is a really cheap drone and everything, um, but at least you'll know if you want to get into FPV or not. So now we're going to go ahead and open up this little box here. And this one has the camera in it. And if you take a look at that, this is the smallest FPV camera I've ever seen in person. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to get these two wires here, and we're just going to cut off this connector, and we're going to wire this up to the drone's battery. And what's great about this is it's a three-in-one. It has an antenna camera and transmitter so basically we just wire it up it'll turn on you got this little tiny um, screen here which will show you the numbers and you got a button and you can change through the channels um, but yeah so we're just going to go ahead and take the cover off the drone and then we'll be able to mount this on right on top here wire it up and that's all we got to do so i'm going to go ahead and start by taking the cover off the drone all right guys so before we do take the cover off the drone i'm going to plug it in with the battery and we can fly it around a little, see how it handles, just so we can compare it to how it handles once we put the FPV camera on. So for the battery here, we just slip it into this little cover and plug it in to the little red slot here. All right, so the drone is on. We're gonna go ahead and turn the remote on. Alright, so right now, uh, by default, it is in the slowest mode. You can see it's not that quick. And if I hit this button right here um, on the left, you hear two beeps and it goes to the next mode. You can see it's a bit quicker. If I hit it again, it should be the quickest mode. There we go. I'm actually really surprised. The drone is a lot more agile than I thought. And if you can see, just by the amount that I turn the remote, the drone is really sensitive to the movements, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, it's a lot more agile than I thought, and it's actually quite quick, as you can see there. So we're gonna go ahead and take the cover off, and we'll see where the positive and negative connections are and then we're gonna solder on the FPV camera. All right, so we're gonna start by unplugging the drone because you don't want that plugged in while you're working on it. And we're gonna take the battery out, set that aside. And to pop the cover off, I don't know if you can see, but there's that little stud that sticks out right here. Well, all you gotta do is pull on the cover and then it pops over top of that. And the other side, just slide it off like that. We got the cover off, and here is this little piece of foam which goes inside. All right, so to connect the FPV camera, if you look on the bottom here, we have this little connector. This is where the battery goes in. If you look on the opposite side, right above it, GoPro isn't focusing on it, but there's these two little soldering joints here. And if you look at them, uh, the one on the right is positive, the one on the left is negative. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna get this wire here that comes off your camera. You're gonna cut off the connection at the end, 
And then with the two wires, you're just gonna connect the positive to the positive side and negative to the negative. And then after that, we will turn on the goggles and see if we can connect the camera to the goggles. So we got the camera soldered on. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just set the camera right in the middle here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this rubber band and I'm gonna go right across the top of the camera and underneath the drum. All right, so you can see the FPV camera is on, the drone is on. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can find the channel with the goggles. All right, so there we go. I think I found the right channel. I'm gonna go ahead and put the battery into the slot and we'll try and fly it. One thing that's great about this drone and makes it a lot easier to learn is having these bumpers on. As you can see, I'm bumping in a bunch of stuff and it just keeps on going. So. That's one great thing about it. Um, it's really, I think it's good for beginners, um, especially that you can hit stuff. And so far, I haven't broken anything. All right, guys. So the drone battery just died. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it. We'll swap it out for another one, and I'll give you a view of what it looks like through the goggles. Together, and um, it works a lot better than I thought. I want you to keep in mind that this drone here was like $39. So if you want to get it below $100, um, there's a drone just like this. Um, I think it was like $25 or something. Um, it was just out of stock at the time. Um, so I got this one. It's a bit more expensive, um, but this one worked great. So I'd recommend this. And then the camera was like $16. And then you can get goggles out there for like $55. Even if you get this one, I think you'll be around like at $110 or something like that. Um, but overall, it worked really good. Um, a couple things I'm going to end up doing is just putting a bit of hot glue on these connections here to make sure they stay on. This, I think, would have been like the perfect way to get started in FPV. So if that's what you're looking for, this is a great way to get started. Uh, make sure to like this video if you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if there's any other new videos or different types of videos you guys want to see. Uh, make sure to also hit that subscribe button. You can also see my Instagram page at kb underscore kingbuilds. And thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.